This is a mock-up of the supply chain map because the actual map is confidential for security reasons. But Misty, this gives a good idea of how infrastructure is laid out, doesn't it? That is correct. So in order to identify all these facilities, what we did is we went out to the power plants. We identified who directly served those power plants, and then we worked our way back. We identified underground storage, gas processing facilities, worked our way all the way back to the wells and the saltwater disposals that service those wells. And it shows how all those infrastructure is interconnected. That's correct. You know, and one of the things that we did over the summer, it was just a really big push, is we went out and we saw it, verified every single one of these facilities. We met with the operators. We identified who their emergency contact information was. Um, we got a lay of the land. We understood what the facilities are. We understood what they were um, potentially going to be doing on the upcoming weather events and how they were going to be weatherizing their facilities. That way, when we came out and did our inspections, we were very familiar and it was just um, better prepared. This map is used by us, the PUC, ERCOT, and emergency responders to respond to any issues in real time and fix those issues during weather emergencies. We are ahead of the curve in terms of conducting inspections. Correct. This is our second year out of the gate, our winter inspections, and a lot of operators were ready early and they were eager for us to get out there. So we started going out probably about three weeks ago um, doing the Tier 1 facilities and we anticipate having all Tier 1 facilities fully um, inspected no later than December 20th. And what type of uh, weatherization are we seeing out there? I mean, all different kinds. You're looking at wind breaks, you know, backup generators, um, methanol injections. You're looking at heat tracing, insulation foam. You know, operators are really doing a great job out there. We're really, it, we're really proud of them. And just like last winter season, this is all being done to ensure that there's no interruption in natural gas supply during any emergencies. That is correct. Okay, thank you, Misty. You're welcome.